one and we're back ladies and gentlemen back and better than ever um as of recording this currently denver and detroit are playing <laughs> i know that that was the only reason why i was like hey are we meeting up early i don't think we are but i'll ask yeah no i figured we were doing the same time since we had a Plans for sure, I just, gonna I, 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 just gonna I just didn't know because there was Saturday ball on. Yeah. Yeah, no, I was going to bail because the Lions play right now, but I'm like, you know what, it's probably not worth it, so. It doesn't look like it's worth it right now. <laughs> zero to zero doesn't exactly spell uh, hey, a good look. time. But look, look. Listen, God, that, that, a little that, far throwing a pick. <laughs> like, that Minnesota Cincinnati game was three seven at halftime when I got in from my line. Dude, that Minnesota and... Cincinnati game was one of the most fun games to watch ever. And, oh, and but it, they the had first two was... backup quarterbacks hosting it. The, well, that's what I'm saying. The the backup was like at half. It did not look like that was gonna be that game. <laughs> Dude, that T Higgins catch though. Dude, oh, that where he caught and extended Dude. the fucking arm. Dude. Yeah, Bro, it looks like he was going down, down and it all of a sudden. <laughs> Dude, I'm painting this. I think they this... up the new quarterback. Browning's good. If they all... I think, I think Browning's going to end up somewhere next year. Yeah, I was going to uh, say, Browning's going to be a press conference when he's like, you know, Minnesota, when they cut me, they're like, they didn't call me. My agent called me. So. <laughs> yeah. Like, uh... So, yeah. He definitely, that felt good. He's like, yeah, you guys didn't want to. Oh, so he beat outside. their asses. <laughs> mm-hmm. And, and, you know, I'll even give Nick Mullins his credit, dude. He looked good. He looked no, good. He looked good the first half. Second half, he kind of fell down there. Yeah, he uh, looked he like still, he's, off in the second half. He still, he still looked competent. I mean, they still got three touchdowns and a, no, two touchdowns and a field goal. Yeah, I know, but the second half, he, he was, when, it was I mean, when he started to kind of. It's crazy. Look like a backup. The Dobbs era is completely over. It's depressing. They, they straight up non-activated him today. Oh no, man, Dobbs. Dude, why do teams do him so dirty? He went because he was he was starting. Then he played bad, so they benched him and said he would be the emergency QB. And they completely non-activated him and went with Jaron Hall behind Mullins instead. Dobbs, we love you here. Oh, we do. And we yeah, will, we will never, we will, rocket, man. I will always go to bat for you, Dobbs. Don't you worry. Oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> that man Actually, is one of my favorite quarterbacks. I, mean, yeah, I, don't, I was I don't... worried because we play Minnesota two of our last three, and I'm like, if Dobbs was playing, he going to beat us with our fucking legs. But now that he's out, Minnesota doesn't have a single shot against us. That was their only shot. I'm surprised they're going Mullins over uh, the other guy. Hall. Yeah, because Hall looked good before he got injured. I mean, yeah, dude. Yeah, I, I, I feel like Mullins... Mullins has a little more experience. I, I guess. guess I feel like Mullins looked fine. I feel like, you know, if he looks bad, they'll probably go back to Jared Hall. I'm sure we'll see Dobbs eventually. We'll probably see a three-headed monster there. Yep. It's just... Dobbs it's crazy, it's crazy because <laughs> that team's... Still freshly in the playoff hunt. I mean, they're a team. They're still a game above all the teams. Yeah. Above, like, like Green Bay has Green the Bay last spot at six and seven. Yeah. I mean, hey, hey. I wouldn't say throwing it away. You know, Tommy DeVito came out and had himself a game. I um, I DeVito. can't believe that that happened. Um, did. You know, it's that time of year where I want to believe in Wondell Robinson, but I refuse to let myself do it. He just lets me down every time I do. He he had this, like, 19-point game, and I'm just like, man, if I had a desperation play, I would I would do it, but I'm not going to let myself believe I know better. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, since he Minnesota was good. I didn't see any of in Indy Pittsburgh. Y'all gonna also, have to fill me in. We have to celebrate a momentous occasion. Like, Bailey was mentioned. fired. Yes, yes. I was gonna go there next. Vegas beat the but... shit out of the Chargers, and Staley was fired. Dude, well, Staley and the GM was fired. Pelagresco, yeah. I think. It's Even better. Dude, 
I just, I mean, where to even their begin, defense, man? With salary is number two. They're the well, second most paid defense. How how do you league. how do you have Khalil Mack and Abosa and your defense? You're a defensive coach, and you have Mack and Abosa, and your defense is sorry. It's been sorry all year. I mean, and this Vegas team, Jr. this Vegas team put up zero last week. Zero. Yeah, they, they lost they, by three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They couldn't put up a single point, and. They just came out and annihilated the, the Chargers. Chargers the Chargers made Vegas like they gave up. look like the fucking Kansas City Chiefs, man. And here's the thing. You can't blame the quarterback. Okay, yeah, he had some turnovers. He had the two turnovers. But he's, his numbers didn't look bad. Like, if you look at the spreadsheet, you wouldn't, you know, you wouldn't think just by his numbers, it, like, all, I all that team. That. He, I also, he also put 21 points, which is enough to win in this league. Uh, yeah. But that pick six, though, off that when they motioned Eckler, when they were in spread. Yeah, definitely didn't help anything, tricks. but that pick six like, should I, not have led to 63 points. <laughs> well, that, that pick no, six is when no, the game was already six, out of... It quite literally was one of the like best plays I've ever seen. Was that... Did he one-hand he, it? He one-handed. He over-jumped yeah. it. He was an outside corner. He knew from watching film what they run when Eckler is in motion and he quite literally went through three blockers overran it picked it with one hand going backwards and just it was a beautiful rip. interception oh, did they no, like to... it was just the play itself i'm just saying like that's just you how do you let that happen you know it's a screen to your hat that coming you have three people there how do you let the dude garden eckler through who takes takes you they show no heart they don't want it they're paying all this money to superstars that they're going to go elsewhere. I think they just don't, I just a rebuild. Think I mean, they don't want to play for Staley. I think it came down to that. that you could tell that Staley it, knew it, he was fucked on the sideline. You could tell the players mm-hmm. didn't want to even talk to him. They were Everybody was mm-hmm. not care. Nobody the, cared about uh, that game. Look, whoever jumps uh, into that job is going to have a quarterback and a left tackle. Everything else is you'll see who's there, who isn't there, because a lot of those players... Are gonna have contracts that can't be fulfilled and are gonna leave. Uh, oh, yeah. They announced yeah. that some the, some linebacker coach, Giff Smith, is the interim head coach. You'll have a corner. Mm, you'll yeah, have a corner and safety too. With Derwin and uh, Asante Samuel. Well, yeah, yeah, but it's Dirt Samuel. Is, is Asante Samuel Samuel. Jr. You, we need to watch that name. Yeah, yeah, he'll, he'll, he'll be back. He'll be back, but will Derwin be back? I think Derwin yeah, can opt out. There. Derwin. Yeah, Derwin wants to hop out, and he wants to go win a champ. He wants to go compete. Oh, well, and, I mean, he, Philly, they can probably move him. Miami, Dallas. Even with all those I people opting out, out like, that's a lot. They still have a lot of pieces to move for picks or stuff. I, I stuff. feel like I feel like you have to hire someone that can change the culture because ever since I was, ever since the Norm Turner years, the Chargers have had that culture of the team that drops games. So you know what really scares me. What? Ben Johnson, our offensive coordinator. So he's looking to be head coach somewhere next year. Like, that's pretty much written in the books. So what people are talking about is a lot of teams are going to be calling that man. So, I mean, if, he, if he's going to go somewhere, I'd like to see him go to the Chargers just because, like, I mean, the man knows what he's doing. He's got a team there. He's not going to go to no, you know, fit organization. Like I said, I just think, you know, a lot of contracts are expiring there. I mean, you, you pro- may not have Eckler. He may not have Keenan Allen. Like like you said, you'll have a quarterback. You'll have a left tackle. And then it's kind of build from there. Which, I yep. mean, is half the battle. Who you have at quarterback is very important. And, you know. That's your leader, your general. Yeah. Uh, but, no, I mean, hats off to the Raiders. They played well. They went in and did their job. Blew the brakes off of him, but Touchdown I feel like the Florida. my guy. It's also hey. sad because he's on the Raiders. He doesn't get talked about enough. Fucking uh, Crosby, Max Crosby, I think. Is yeah, yeah, Max no. Crosby is. Man is wild. a fucking Dude. monster. Dude, is Mad a Max monster. is a monster, and he's a force to be fucking reckoned with on that team. He doesn't have another elite pass rusher. He doesn't have another person anyone's scared of. They know little. They can triple team him, and he will still beat it 
and put hands on your quarterback. That dude is actually a monster. Like I don't want, I don't you know, I don't watch a lot of Raiders football because one, it's Raiders football, and two, I watch Mad Max highlights, <laughs> and two, it's just not really ever like on my TV screen or anything. But when I, when I watch when I watched Raiders this week, I saw that man. I was like, oh my god. <laughs> Dude, like I said, though, it's just, this is how it's been since Daly's been there, and I don't know, I feel like it's a dub for Chargers fans that they can actually be motivated. I'm waiting, well, I mean, for, next, just... I'm waiting for next week when I hear Mook talk about how the Chargers are going to beat the Bills because of the new coach hire. Ah, uh, the new coach culture. Yeah, the new coach yeah. culture. Hey, I'm hey, just saying that, that coach in Oakland, literally was like, we're not going to put, we're going to keep our foot down. We're not letting up. Oh, yeah, no, he said, I think he said right. we need to keep our foot on the gas. I mean, you got to think, though, that man's coaching to get himself a permanent job, and, you know, knowing well, the Raiders. that's what Oakland needs. That's knowing, what Oakland's always been, well, that team to the punch thing. in the mouth. Here's the thing, Aaron. It's the Raiders. They're, they're going to hire a different guy. They did that the year they made the sure. playoffs with their interim coach. They did, I remember. That's what they and do. everybody they was like, oh, man, why, we, why don't they bring this guy back? And they brought in McDaniels, and it turned to shit. I think this is the only game that Oakland, or sorry, yeah, that the Raiders have played, and, like, you could see him happy. Dude, like, Devontae Adams, Adams was Adams. smiling on the sideline, dancing oh, around. Yeah, we don't see Devontae. We haven't seen Devontae smile since Green Bay. Well, I like, feel like I feel like when they got rid of McDaniels, he come out and even said football can be fun again. <laughs> so, I mean, really, this, this team's looked okay since they've gotten rid of McDaniels. If you take away the 3-0 loss, like, they've looked... I forget. Wait, what was the first game after they... When did they fire McDaniels exactly? Two weeks. Was it the, was it the Bears or was it after the Lions? I'm pretty sure it was after the Lions. It was our Monday so our they, Thursday night game. And the, after that, so they, they were like, they went. Or, was it the week after? I, th- I think it was, it was the Lions, because then they went and they beat the crap out of the Giants, and then they beat the Jets. Stayed yeah. within a touchdown of Miami. Lost to KC thirty-one seventeen. So I mean, you know, they're three and three since they've got rid of him. I mean, kind of more where you would expect them to be. So did um, you guys see? Um, that Mahomes was fined fifty thousand and Andy Reid was fined a hundred thousand for their comments after the game. No. Yeah. Good thing they can afford it. <laughs> I mean, here, here, here's here's my my stance on that. You want Mahomes speaking up on stuff like that, like he's a guy in the league, but this wasn't the call to do it. Tony was clearly offside. Mm-hmm. But the thing is, is there was analysts that went back. Tony was offsides a total of five times that game. Five times he was offsides. And they call it on a play well, that could pretty much make a game be a factor, a decision of who wins or loses. You're going to let four of them slide, but you're going to call one that where you're like, can the city score? Well, well here's, well, the, here's thing. I mean, the other thing. If you're going to take I that get stance. I the fairness of that. And, and here's the thing. If you're going to take this stance, you have to take this stance not just when it benefits you. Yeah, that's yes. what I saw. Yes. We have seen millions of games get fucked by stu- by pl- uh, things like that. Well, and we just have to deal with it. Seen, how many times have we seen the Chiefs alone benefit from a getting a call in their favor? Yeah. So, so like, it's like you know you have to speak out, not just when the call hurts you as well. Like I will say, officiating has been just corrosive this year. It has so been very it's been uh, very weird this year. You know, and, and I'll give him credit because he didn't say anything after they lost the Sunday nighter. I forget who they played with the atrocious pass interference. Yeah, I was going to say that was two weeks ago. That they was, did, yeah, they they didn't say anything. And, well, and and on that though, also they got away with Mahomes. Mahomes got hit in bounds, and they called a a late hit like he was out of bounds. Yeah, but the thing is, I think they need to change the rule if a quarterback is heading out. The the unwritten rule, you don't fucking touch him. That yeah, is the I, that is he the shows, rule. He's giving up, no matter if his foot is on the sideline or not. You do not fucking hit him. He's not cutting back. He's not making a football move. 
He is relaxing his body, jogging out of bounds. And you're going to take a cheap shot like that. The luckiest off- offensive lineman didn't get a hold of you. I feel like so. on that play, though, it wasn't a cheap shot. Like I mean, if he would have cut back, then you can touch him. Grab him. Grab him. I feel like... I feel like... Well, I feel like in the last two minutes, though, if you can keep him in bound, you want to do that to keep the clock running. Well, yeah, but he didn't try. He wanted to hit well, Mahomes. Well, the thing that was, the, 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 contact, was Mahomes. the contact was in bounds, though. Well, no, I so get I would that, feel but... like the, the, the goal was to keep him in bounds. No, I mean, with his foot heading out already, it was going to be real impossible unless you're going to try to pick him up, you know? Hey, you never know. Hey, yeah, he might be. Defenders are big. <laughs> some, yeah. of, some of the defenders like, like the body know. slam, bro. But there's a thing is the Tom Brady, you weren't allowed to do some things. You know, a lot of people love Brady. The new Brady is Patrick. So, like, the one quarterback that is going to surpass Brady is Patrick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Joe so Flacco. There's going to be certain calls that, like, it's going to be like, hey, like, what are you doing? Those would be smart. You know, maybe like his foot is in bounds, but it's two inches from the line. He's not making a cut. Like, you know, we're going to have to flag you on that kind of thing, you know? Or if it's like a Joe Flacco or if it's like a Deshaun Watson and he gets laid out, who cares? You're replaceable. <laughs> what the fuck? Like, you're replaceable. That's, that's literally what they Poor Flacco. In, <laughs> in basketball, LeBron James, Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant, they got away with stuff. But, you know, you hit them a little too hard, you tug a little bit at their pants or their jersey, tweet, tweet, you're getting called. See, that's the thing that we need to avoid, though, because that's the favorite. (laughs) So that's what I'm just saying is certain superstars, they get a little more favorable. That's the business aspect of it. But I'm saying, if you're Mahomes and you're speaking out on refs and flags, this is the kind of stuff you need to speak out on, too. Yeah. Yes. (laughs) Yes. Like, that's what I'm saying. I have no problem with Mahomes no, I, taking I, I, exception I to, to the flag. To but I, I, I just, I, I, at the end of the day, I also think Mahomes needs to speak out on other flags and issues that don't just benefit the Chiefs. I just found it funny because yes. uh, there's all these other teams that don't get as much TV time. Suarez, big names, who get fucked by plays like that all the time on game-winning touchdowns. Wow. And they don't, Lions. and no one ever talks about. But the moment the Chiefs do, oh, it is yeah. headline news, baby. The moment one well, of the big also, names. Also, though, you got to think Mahomes lost his cool, and we never see Mahomes lose his cool. No, he's one person that keeps his composure very well. But I mean, his receivers letting him down. I was gonna say now. I will say this: we'll he's end up getting to KC, but I, I think they're about to deliver. A fucking blowout this week. I think mm. Mahomes is gonna snap at those receivers, start bending them into shape. He needs to. I think now they, they don't. They don't fighting. have a. They don't have a very hard matchup this week, so it's kind of easy to predict that they're gonna open a can. Absolutely but annihilate. Yep. I guess the final game that we can recap is the Colts Steelers. Yeah, I was gonna say I didn't watch this game, so y'all. I I saw watching after the Colts scored twice, and then. <laughs> yeah, I always thought the watch Colts after defense. the Colts kind of started running away with it, uh, so I don't yeah, really know what happened. Colts defense came to play. Their offense definitely came to play as well, so just oh, a good hey. football game Low by Indy. Gardner and the boys, 8-6. and six. Sneaky 8-6. and six. I told you, Sneaky. they might be playoffs, man. Oh, Jimmy, well, it gives it a big play. I love, well, I was, I love to see Minshew got... in the playoffs, man. Look, you got Indy at eight and six, Pittsburgh at seven and seven, Denver at seven and six, the Browns at eight and five. I'm trying to think who else also, is in that hot. Side note, Minshew won the, the money the today, Texans, so he's a god. <laughs> the Texans at seven and six. Yeah, I think the Texans are not going to be doing very much without their guy. You got Buffalo no. around DJ, there at, at seven and six. You got Cinc- you got Cincinnati at eight and six. You got to think only if you take Cleveland out, only two of those teams are getting in between. You know, Cincinnati, yeah, that Cleveland Indy, division Denver. is getting crazy. Yeah, 
you know, Cincy, Indy, Denver, Houston. Who, who am I missing? I just went over all of them and I forgot. Cincy, in, oh, <laughs> Pittsburgh. <laughs> so out of those five teams, only two of them are making it. And I think it will be, I honestly think it's going to be Indy and Cincy. Well, you know, I'm glad I'm not the only one that don't that don't think it's gonna be Buffalo. It could be Buffalo, but I think Indian Cincy. I don't know these backup QBs, man. There's something. They got some swagger to them this year. Dang, no, I, 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 no, no I, I took. Uh, well, I, I said if we take Cleveland out because they're a game ahead. I just okay. assume they're. I assume they're gonna hold on. I think. Yeah, I think Cleveland's holding. Imagine yeah, Cincy they're... wins the division and fucking Bills and goddamn Indianapolis Colts take the wild card spot. Wait, who takes the division? Cincy. Imagine Cincy takes the division. I, and... I, can Cincy still theoretically catch Baltimore? I I don't think so. Honestly, eight and six. Been on Baltimore. A three. Baltimore's it's ten and three, and Baltimore beat Cincy both times, didn't they? Or is one of Baltimore's yes. losses Cincinnati? I don't know. No, I'm pretty sure Baltimore's taking care of them both times. Yeah, if Baltimore took care of them both times, there's no way. Yeah, no, it's Baltimore. I honestly don't even know they play all right. Baltimore, I think, is going all the way for the AFC. I forgot Baltimore was in that division because they're such a higher tier than the rest of the team. Dill, Dill says, fuck the Ravens. Uh... I need Odell to play really yeah. well this week because I'm no, playing him in my fantasy not. matchup. Yeah, but Colts, I mean, oh, it was yeah. just a really clean they took win. took care of them handily the first time. Just a really clean win for the Colts. Uh, Zach Moss went down, sadly. Dude, he was on the verge of a game, too. Dude, Minshew has been, been that dude this year. Minshew's been good, man. Minshew man. And, and Pittman's been good. I really wish when I drafted Pittman last year, he played like he's playing this year. Yeah, Pittman's come back to life. So, talking about Pittman, that fucking shot he took tonight was... You cut out. You muted. Yeah, you cut out. You muted, muted. mid-talking. Yeah, I had to mute myself, I'm sorry. <laughs> but no, he took a really cheap shot today. Uh, he dove for a ball and the defender pretty much tried to fold him reverse style. So he got up and walked away, but definitely probably could have broke his back. Dude, I was a uh, cheap, cheap shot. I I haven't I didn't get to see any of this game, and I said I got to see part of Minnesota Cincy. They said that T Higgins made an awesome catch in the end zone. Yes, he made multiple oh, awesome in catches. The end zone. Well, like I said, I didn't see the catch. I just heard it. Yeah, no, one he, of his he was in the end zone, but he jumped back to like a two or three, and he was going out of bounds. And he pretty much had the ball in his right hand and just twisted his body and put it over the pylon. It looked like he was about to be slammed into the ground, and all of a sudden you see his fucking arm rise from the ashes and stretch out into the end zone. Like, what the fuck? Where did that come from? <laughs> it was really cool. T. Higgins like, no chase. It's honestly one of my favorite catches I've seen all year, just because of that. You know, I'm looking at this Colt schedule, and I kind of agree with you, Coon. I think they could win out. Falcons, Raiders, and Texans, I think they could win out. Yeah, Indy, I mean, yeah, Indy has a really good chance this year to make playoffs. Except for they're not beating the Falcons, I'm sorry. Yeah, that's the, well, one, that's the one team they're going to lose to. I mean, dude, I I just I don't understand how y'all have faith in that team. That team it shoots is. itself in the foot the Falcons, a new way every week. The Falcons fly. That's how I have faith. Well, uh, the, I'll be. I wouldn't. I mean, I wouldn't be well, shocked if they lose to Carolina this week. No, they don't do that. I kind of have some bets, and I I need the uh, I need them to win games. <laughs> no, they will win games. Don't worry. Yep, they will win games. Why do you need Atlanta to win games? He made a bet with me. I bet him that Tampa would have a better record than Atlanta at the end of the year. And I literally cannot stand. But they're, they're both. Gets... Them two and the Saints are all six and seven. <laughs> <laughs> what a division. What a fucking division. 
<laughs> at least I know what I said at the beginning of the year. I can see anybody winning that division. I was right about that, except for one thing, because I excluded the Bucks. <laughs> I I excluded the Panthers, which was a good exclusion. <laughs> uh, um, I literally can't stand it. Is Yomo card back? You know how <laughs> much <laughs> like him not being able to say that to me for about a look, year. Look, look, regardless, Mook, the fact. Has come true that, that I told you. Said I'm picking Tampa because Bake Show will be the best QB in the division, and he has done that. It's a very low bar, but he has done that. Dude, Mook, Mook tried to argue that Derek Carr, and I was like, bro, don't, don't, don't even say yeah, that. Yeah, no. I was like, it's I was Baker like, is not as, even close. As, as a Saints fan, I was like, watching Derek Carr is fucking depressing. I don't want to say it, but it's Baker and it's not even close. <laughs> yeah, dude, like, watching Derek Carr is, like, every week, I hear that man's got a shoulder injury, a concussion. He's coming like, back out on crutches. Yeah, dude, and then they'll announce the day before, Carr's gonna play, and I'm like, bro, just let me see Jameis. At least I get the, the two interceptions, the two touchdowns. At least I get some excitement in Saints football. Carr's jersey Carr has been modified like, to be a wheelchair. He's coming out to yeah. play football this season. Dude, it's it's fucking painful watching Carr, man. It's like watching paint dry. You guys ever seen that video uh, where it's funny commentary and it's a soccer, it's a goalie, and they're taking penalty kicks and he keeps blocking it with his face? His yeah, teammates, yeah, like, you're talking about, uh, what was the dude's name? Yeah, no, I forgot. He's like a commentator or whatever. He does like John Buck or something. Or something. It's not John no, Buck. The, 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 Buck. The, the Sonic player, or the, the soccer player has a name. Oh. No, I don't know, but... It, it, it's part of the, the joke. Of. Is it Messi? <laughs> no, 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 no. It's... <laughs> Just name the biggest soccer oh, player. Yeah, okay. I yeah. named the only uh, soccer player I know. <laughs> you know, it's it's the man, the myth, the legend, Scott Sterling. Oh yeah, Scott Sterling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Scott yeah. Sterling has done it again. He's yeah, all like he's busted like, from the nose, and he and he they kick it and hit him in the face again. Oh my God, it's Scott Sterling. <laughs> He curls up in the corner of the net in the front, and they <sighs> kick in. It hits him right in the face as he like peeks to see if it's coming. It's Look. <laughs> If y'all have never Toon Mook, if y'all have never seen that down. video, it's god tier comedy. We'll have to post it in our podcast group chat. Uh, update on the Broncos Lions game. It is a fourteen to nothing Lions lead. Well, we can it's get into. Half, yeah. I guess. I guess oh, I got three on the Lions. I guess that's yeah, how I started. I, I, I put four on Denver, kind of with the sentence of Denver's. Detroit's been very shaky. Denver's been very good. And Shaky's I get my boy word, Sean guys. Payton. Huh? City is the word. City is the word. Not Fitty? shaky. We're not shaky. We're shitty. <laughs> shaky like, can still kind of win. So City, when our quarterback is giving up fumbles and picks, when he's literally holding the ball, and instead of taking a couple steps, he's turning his back for sacks, it kind of looks like he's giving up on us. Look, so, Detroit. Continue, that's how I feel. Th- this this could be a get right game for the Lions. And but I, mean, I, I the, took I took the, the hotter team because I didn't know who to pick here, and I went low on it. Yep, I put three on the Lions because I didn't know which way to go. Yeah, there was a lot of interviews with Dan, and they were talking, and Aiden, all the big dick guys, and they pretty much came together, and they were like, you know, it's just got to change. Like they were like, we know what kind of football, and they even said it. They're like, we played like ass. Like in Chicago. How much did you uh, put on Aaron? Um, I put thirteen on it. Yeah. Because I looked at the group to see what how y'all went on this game. Oh yeah, huh, I, I came in. Because I can do that after the game starts, and Mook went low on Denver with me. I don't know how much he put. He can tell y'all that. Asian put seven on Denver or on Detroit. <laughs> What yeah, about um, like four? Three on Denver. Yeah, I think we all kind of had the same mindset. They've been <laughs> getting something shaky. <laughs> so. I still don't feel like Peyton really trusts Russ, but I mean, what they've been doing has been working, so 
I, I think if Goff plays good football and clean football, Detroit will go a long way. But so, hey, there was a point uh, where I thought Detroit was going to be the Philly of last year because their schedule was so easy. And they've managed to drop two or three, so they're kind of like running the good faith that has been built up. So now they got to start building it up again. So I went 10 on Cleveland and 4 on Green Bay. I should be back after that. I just got to go do something real quick. Okay. Oh, for show. Sure. Well, speaking of that, Chicago versus Cleveland, baby. Uh, I put I put ten on the the brown the brownies. Just the Bears aren't very good. Cleveland better than we thought they were. I'm kind of scared here, right? Because I want to play Fields, but I don't really want to play him against Cleveland defense. And Houston announced that Stroud was out. So I put him in the IR spot and picked up old Wacko Flacco. And I kind of want to play Wacko Flacco. I, this game. So I put one on the Bears. I'm bearing down this week. I always feel like this is a trap game for Cleveland. I'll be real. A lot of people like the Bears. A lot of people think that Flacco is going to come back down to earth. And that the Bears like, defense has been good since they've gotten Montez. Yeah, I was, I was going to say, that Bears defense, low-key been good. Flacco, and, I don't know what to make of him because he is a 75-year-old playing in the NFL. And they're saying that uh, Cleveland's defense is kind of beat up. And it's just like, I don't know, Cleveland, for some reason, I don't, I just, in this spot, I smell a trap game and I'll put one on the Bears for it. And, and you kind of have to think. Chicago's in that weird position in the NFC where they're one win out of the playoff race, and they're one, they're one loss out of being the, the number Bears two pick. could easily fucking just make the playoff race that much more interesting. <laughs> like, listen, they're, they're one win away from the playoff race, and one loss away from being the number six pick, and that's the situation in the NFC. So here's the thing. If the Bears do win, right, and they start, you know, winning, and they get a playoffs, do you still think they move off the fields after this season? Well, yes, because I they have Carolina's pick, so they're still going to get the number one pick. Yeah, but still, like, I don't know. Because, like, yeah, I think they started to win a field, so they obviously are going to like them. I mean, they play the Cardinals, the Falcons, and the Packers, which I don't think they'll beat the Packers. I could see them beating the Cardinals and the Falcons. It's going to be very interesting I, to see what Chicago does after this season. I would would lean picking the Cardinals just because I think Kyler's a better QB than Fields. Maybe a hot take. Depends on who you ask. But, I'll, I'll, I'll 100% lean to the Falcons blowing that game against the Bears, though. It's going to be very interesting to see what the fucking Bears do after this season, especially depending on what pick they It get. is. I mean, I'll, I'll be real. If if they were to sneak into the playoffs and win a game, I think they would stay with Fields. Now, that would have them either going to San Francisco, Philadelphia, <laughs> or who would be the three seed? Detroit. They could, uh... I, I can see them oh. keeping fields even with a losing record to end the year here. Like, they trade down from the first pick, build around them again more, but I don't know. I, I can see it either way, though. I can see him tre- move off of him. I can see him keep I just think they're going to they're gonna move him because of it. I just feel like Chicago's a franchise that don't know what it's doing. More, more, in the, uh, more often than not, they don't. So. Which is weird. I mean, that's, you know, like I said, part of the reason I have 10 on Cleveland is I just I just think their defense is so ferocious. But they have seemed to learn the secret formula of throw the ball to DJ Moore, and he just makes things happen. But yeah, DJ Moore is a god. How much did you put on this, Lucy? I put two on the Bears. I'm bearing down. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> here, here, brother. <laughs> I feel like I'm pretty good at calling a... Uh, Browns games for the most part, and I'm just feeling like the Bears got new life in them. Like you said, one game away from playoffs, so 
I'm feeling like the Bears are gonna come back and start roaring. You know what I mean? Like Bears normally do. Bear. <laughs> or whatever. Sounds like. <laughs> Bear. 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 <laughs> Was that Moose Bear? Yeah. <laughs> Bear. Hurrah. <laughs> uh... That's what I'm gonna say every time I fucking bear down now. Bear! <laughs> anyway. Yeah, I mean, like, it's a trap game is what I feel. I, but it's only one point, so I can take a one point loss. Uh, moving on, we have the Tampa Bay Buccaneers going to face the Into Green Lambeau. Bay Packers in Lambeau. Well, y'all already know where I went. I got six on the Bake Show, baby. Oh, uh, yeah. God. I just like Tampa more and I like Green Bay. That's really the only reason. Uh, both these teams need this game. I feel like it's going to be close. Green Bay is a young team. Tampa probably didn't think they were going to be in this spot. It feels like they're. It feels like they're. You know, they're in the NFC South, but it feels like it's fixing to be rebuild time there. Mike Evans is going to be leaving and stuff. So maybe maybe they can they can win one more for the boys. Until then, you know. Um, yeah, I just think that Tampa's clicking offensively, and I just don't, I don't know what to make of the Packers once again. Well, you know, they beat the Chiefs, they're good, then they lose to the Giants, I don't ever know if Aaron Jones is healthy, I don't trust A.J. Dillon, they tend to, they just have seemed to quit using Romeo Dobbs all of a sudden, like... Watson is 50-50 whether he's there or not. I think Green Bay is a young team with a lot of talent. I think they just need to fix... They normally play really good December ball. I just think... I just need to know what their team, like, actually is at this point. So, I'm taking six on the Bake Show because I've been riding my boy Baker all year. I put five on the Packers because I want to see the Falcons win the division. (laughs) That's it. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, I, I feel like I feel like we're all just going with our personal agenda for this game. Mookie. Which means I 100% expect to be on the Bake Show by myself. I don't know, Agent Agent sometimes randomly takes the Bake Show with me. I've taken him a good amount. Um, Mookie, how much did you put on it? Interesting, oh, interesting. Look, the Bake Show has him so stunned he can't even talk. <laughs> he says, I've put 16 on my boy Baker Mayfield. Oh, God. That do be his boy. Fucking, he, he, I will say, he, um, would be funny if the Packers somehow sneak in the playoffs because then they've had three quarterbacks who have led them into playoffs on their rookie year, I think. It was some wild there. stat like that. I, I don't or not on their rookie Rod- year, on their starting year. Right? Rodgers didn't make it his starting year, unless the NFC sucked because Rodgers only won seven games his starting year. There is a crazy stat that was like they've all done something legendary on their first year starting. <laughs> I mean, now I think he, I think he won his Super Bowl the second, second or third year. Was twenty ten would have been the year that they won the ball. Who? The Packers. But I don't know if that happens to go into the stat or not. I don't know. But yeah, yeah. Mook's so I can be stunned. He, out my... Mook, Mook's so stunned he went. Yeah, I'm feeling dangerous. I got like like my boy Baker says I got 16 on the Bake Show, and I was like, damn, Mook finally came along. No, I put six on Green Bay. Um, <laughs> Baker's dog shit. That's all I need. <laughs> I, I don't know, Mook. You were pretty quiet there for a while. You had to think about that one for a while, huh? I uh, I was letting you say your piece. I was talking to my girlfriend. <laughs> I'm, I'm over at her place, so. Uh, does your girlfriend believe in the bake show? Ashley! You <laughs> <laughs> got the Baker Mayfield show? Yeah! Oh, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I mean, I you guys just caused a breakup. <laughs> no, that's cool. You just hurt me. <laughs> oh, no, he's on the he's on the right side of this Ash. argument. 
That's amazing. <laughs> you look not already made your pick. <laughs> They're laughing at me now. Thanks. <laughs> no, you can tell her that Caleb's super proud of her. <laughs> My brother's super proud of you for some reason. Bro, I might have to. But I know the reason. I might have to switch to Baker yeah. now. <laughs> it's the bake show, baby. I might have to switch over to Baker Mayfield now. <laughs> <sighs> <laughs> that was uh, amazing. I see yeah, it very highlight. faintly. Yeah! Highlight of the show. Uh, well. <laughs> Moving on from that. At least Aaron already said his uh, points, so we're moving on to Texans and Titans. Yo, I'll, I'll go first. I'll make this short. I got one on the Titans. I don't know. I mean, I'm gonna be real. Uh,. It's not Mills. I forgot who it is. Favored. Huh? Tennessee's Sorry. favorite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stroud's not playing. It's not Mills. It's uh Keenum. It's Case Keenum's yeah, a dog. Case Keenum. So oh, I mean God. but Houston, no Dell. No I, I don't think no Nico. No, so it's Nico Noah, Brown. Noah Brown. Noah might, Brown might Noah Brown might not even play. Yeah, so oh, no, he's just looking really. So it's up. it's it's Case Keenum, and maybe Noah Dam- Brown, Damian Pierce, yeah. and who's the other one? Singletary. Yep. And Henry's so, I mean, been having a game. But look, Case Keenum's a dog, but I got my one on Tennessee here. I think this could be the D Hop revenge game too. This could be thirty yeah, point yeah. D Hop. I put being seven. Being like, on this Tennessee. what you got? Let go, but. There's too many variables for me to put more than one on this game because Tennessee's also on a short week. So that's kind of where I'm at is one. One on the Titans. Um, I put four on Titans. I mean, the last few weeks, Derrick Henry has looked like Derrick Henry. Um, D-Hop has looked good. Like, I don't... They haven't looked... Like, they haven't been like, oh my god, blowing up. Aside from Derrick Henry, Derrick Henry's kind of a bit dull. <laughs> but hey, I, I don't know. Love it. Love it. Levis has had some okay games. There's been some life in the offense tripping around, and Henry. And they just could, They just came off a of beat in Miami, who no one thought they were gonna do. Yep. That's why I will put four on them. And I mean, dude, Derrick Henry. I'm re- I, I was, I'm saying Derrick Henry a lot because he's really like come back to life throughout the second half of the season, which has been nice to see. Like, he's come, he's had 18, 25, and 20 in the last three weeks. Yeah, I know. I've, pl- I've been playing him every it's week. It's been fantastic. Week. It's been, it's been awesome to, uh, it's been very awesome to see. Yeah, I'll put um, four on the Titans here. I got seven on the Texans. I don't think the Titans are that good. They, they, uh, like I said last week, they could win. They end up winning games that they probably shouldn't win. But I'm still going Miami, and uh, I kind of seen the Titans could win. I just didn't think it was possible. Um, I still don't think the Titans are that good. I'm gonna say is Stroud playing? No. No, no, it's it's not Mills either, Mook. It's Case Keenum. I'm pretty sure Stroud's out for the season. No, no, he just has a concussion. Okay, well. he just didn't pass concussion protocol. I thought oh, it was man. more. I thought it was. I more. thought it was more it's too. A, yeah, it's just I a concussion. Well. Okay. Well, I I will. I'll tell you the exact report. Either way, I knew he wasn't in for this game, and that was enough. Stroud concussion has been ruled out for Sunday's game against the Titans. That's all it um, says. I know he's been dealing with the shoulder too, but the the shoulder hadn't kept him out. All right, I put five on Tennessee. Uh, I don't... <laughs> that changed real quick, huh, Mook? Well, I thought Stroud was playing. And I guess I Mook goes, I don't think the Texans would look hey, that good, Mook, honestly. <laughs> Mook, Mook, you get notifications on your phone, right? Yeah, but I don't check them. <laughs> Mook, there was literally a notification that said, Kong Island Donkey Kong got added Joe Flacco. Do you know why that happened? Oh, I got that rid happened. of that. 
That happened because CJ is out. The only reason I got rid of that was because, uh... You saw Joe Flacco, and you're like, bro. No, I hardly checked my phone. Well, I I checked it, but, like, I mean, overnight... I, you know. I could have played Baker Mayfield. That was okay, an option. Carried. Man's getting carried by his team. Can't help it that someone will break off for like 60 yards and then he gets to benefit 60 extra yards when he didn't even do anything. He threw the anyway. ball. He <laughs> no, 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 no. He'll do like a check down and then the guy will break. <laughs> ah, I see him throw, so some, you, I've seen so him throw some deep balls to Brock Mike Brock Evans. Purdy. Yeah, Damn. you mean you mean Brock Purdy. <laughs> I mean, how many rack yards does Debo have in two Mook, games? Yeah, I was going to say, Mook, remember the mountain I showed you? What's this? That's Debo. He's pulling 30 up the mountain. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, uh, five on the Titans. Uh, well, moving on. Oh, God. We have the Jets going to Miami to play the Dolphins. I'll be quick about this. 16 on the Dolphins. I mean... We saw how this went last time. <laughs> yeah. I have 14 on Dolphins. Don't really got much to say. I mean... I put 8 on the Dolphins. I think the Dolphins are kind of... Uh, they're in a weird spot to me. Their defense is showing up a lot. I mean... Without uh, Tyree Kill, I don't know if that's the same Dolphins team. Uh... So. I wanted to go lower, and if I really had lower points to pick, I might have picked the Jets. I hate to tell y'all, but y'all are all wrong, because it's... J-E-T-S! Jets! 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 I got two on the Jets. Um, yeah. I just don't know about Tyree Kill. It literally says, The Dolphins intend to allow Hill to decide on his availabilities for Sunday's game against the Jets. Uh, they got that team, that that team looks completely different without Tyreek. I watched Tyreek get hurt Monday night, and they did not look the same without him. I and... mean, that kind of speed is irreplaceable, to be honest. Like, look at KC. Oh, yeah, right no, now. no, I agree with that. But so. what I'm saying is, like, they do not look like the same team. Tua did not recover when he was gone. That Jets defense is still tough, and Zach Wilson played a damn good game last week. I don't know if he'll build off of it. It's not a strong pick. Hey, I mean, but... I'm pretty sure Zach Wilson beat Mahomes, so. Look, I'll say this. I didn't, I didn't, well, this this season, Zach Wilson's beat Philadelphia. Yeah, he literally took on the two Super Bowl teams. In and, the and I didn't have Zach Wilson out playing C.J. Stroud on my bingo card last week, but it it happened. Yeah, I don't know. Something's just so. I mean, you know, it's not a strong pick. That's why there's only two confidence on it. But something, it's just something weird about Miami. I had Dallas as like the NFC Miami till last week when they entered my Super Bowl bubble, and now you know, it's just something about Miami that like when they struggle to put up points, the, the team seems to struggle, and I feel like the Jets are a in-division team that can give them that trouble, so I'll put my yeah, I'll, flo I'll float my two out there, and if Tyreek plays, well, I think Miami will take this, but right now I'm going on the emphasis that he didn't practice all week, and I don't I mean, mind putting they, two on the Jets in this spot. They, they're talking about 2,000 receiving yards quite a bit. Oh, I know. So if Tyreek has a shot where they're like, hey, it's up to you. If you want to go out and run it, we'll give you some pills, we'll We'll tape you up, we'll do what we need, and you go out and do your thing. I mean, I will decoy, say this. Tyreek don't have to even catch a pass to honestly be well, able to go out. Because he just puts fear in running. That is what Oh, yeah. Is. So I agree with you that. You don't have to catch anything because he's he out there is, and you have to just think about he, it. He is dealing with an ankle. It said he didn't practice, and McDaniel told NFL Network that if Hill is confident he can be himself and he has he has the support of the traders, he will play. If not, he won't. So it's just going to be a, how do you feel? So I feel like it's one of those, if Tyreek feels like he can go, they're going to rip him. I would sit, but if he's, I would sit him. If, I'm not going to lie. I would, I, would, I would sit him too. Because I feel I mean, like Tyreek in no way in hell is missing this game. Yeah, well, no, he's not. 
because that's going to hurt the record a little bit. Cause that's a he wants that record, and yeah. here's, he's here's going to get here's it. The, the main reason that I would sit him is because after you got this game, then you play the Cowboys, Ravens, and Bills to end the season. And I would want him as healthy as I could if I yeah. don't have to go to the Red Hot Cowboys after this. I would sit him, and then, but the fact that he said got... he's letting him decide... I'm like, okay, so Tyreek oh, yeah. is going to play football next week. And then, week. and then you... I, I feel like it's literally going to depend on how well he does in warm-ups. If he feels like he can go in warm-ups, I think he plays. I think he's going to. But I, and I'll say this, December 31st, we get Dolphins Ravens. That could literally be... That could be a conference championship. Yeah, almost. that could that could literally be the race for the one seed. Now, I will yeah. say... I still need to see Miami beat a team with the winning record. Like, yeah, the same thing I needed to see with Dallas that I finally see when they beat beat Seattle, who don't have a winning record anymore, and beat Philadelphia. I need to see Miami do that still. So, I mean, they're going to have a chance to do that and show me that they deserve to be in that Super Bowl bubble, but that's what they're missing is that one signature win for me. Have they really not beat somebody with a winning record yet? Nope. They have beat... I got it up right now. The Packers beat them. Which is crazy that... Wait, no, that was last year. Wait, no, that was this year. No, that they lost... They, they beat the Chargers, beat the Patriots. Technically, they beat the... They beat the Bron. They beat the Broncos. So I guess if you count that, yes, sir, we count that. <laughs> uh, the Bills destroyed them. They beat the Giants, the Panthers. Philly destroyed them. They beat New England. The Chiefs beat them. They beat the Raiders. They beat the Jets, and they beat the Commanders. So this is kind of a very easy schedule, pretty much. So, I mean, they, they beat Denver, but Denver was one in fucking four when they beat Denver. And they beat them by 50. Um, I love the Dolphins, but they do need to win a game against the actual, like, competent team. Yes, that... Dill... Ravens will be the test. Denver... Denver... Denver's turned when, uh... When Miami whipped their ass. That... that that was unlike the Raiders Chargers. That was an example of a of a loss that turned the season around. Well, moving on, I think this will be relatively quick. I got sixteen on the Chiefs. Yeah, we got the Kansas City Chiefs versus the Patriots. I mean, I got fifty on KC. I mean, is that the hour? Is that the hour? <laughs> dude? I'm all in on the Chiefs. They're still in my Super Bowl bubble. They've been here before. This is a very honestly, KC has such an easy schedule. They they gotta play Sand no. They gotta play one other hard team, but like this is just this is KC's to this I is think they went out, home I think they went out some and ass. end up as the two seed. This is oh, gonna yeah, be the blah of the week right here. Well, I guess the Raiders kinda own that, so this will be oh, the second blah of the week. <laughs> My uh my low, my low team for the week's New England. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I only put nine on this one. Honestly, Loki, this might be a shootout. Know how KC oh. has been playing. They gotta <laughs> yeah, play Cincinnati, twice. but besides that, they play the Patriots, Raiders, and because Raiders. I love my boy Zappy. He can put up points. Yeah, these put Raiders it this way. Are, those receivers don't catch for Mahomes, so New, like, let's put it this way: New to... New England's so bad they. Flex this game out of Monday night. And they're gonna regret it when it's a fucking seventy-five point game. <laughs> they might, they might regret it if we end up getting Mariota versus Drew Locke on Monday night. <laughs> now, oh I don't God! Think Jalen misses, but Gino could definitely miss. He missed last week, so it wouldn't be like a shock, you know. But yeah, fifty on KC. We only give this game more time than it deserves. <laughs> Uh, what did you guys put? I know Caleb's the 16. What did you put? Eric Mookie? put 15, as I think he said. I put 9. 9. There you go. What did you put, Mookie? All my points on KC. Right. Cool. Yeah, that's... <laughs> <laughs>
Moving on, we got Caleb's and Saints going into New York to play the Giants. Hi, Caleb. Oh, boy. I got eight on the Saints. It don't feel good. This is a scary spot because the Giants have sneakily won three straight. I'll say this. New England or New Orleans has done nothing to deserve to be six point favorites. Because if the Giants win this game, we have the same record. But I mean, dude, I got eight on the Saints. It makes me sick to my stomach. Like, dude, Derek Carr is just so bad to watch. I thought we were going to lose last week, but it turns out that Carolina's just that ass somehow. <laughs> but like, I'm not going to be shocked if my Saints get Tommy DeVitoed. Because Gable's a good coach. He's been having a chance to show that again this year. I I think the Saints win, but the Giants cover. Because, I mean, we haven't been the same defense since Lattimore's out. Like, our offense, our players don't like playing for Derek Carr. We keep throwing old, injured bandage man out there every week. I mean, I got eight on us because we're at home, but it's it's not a confident eight. It's just how the confidence landed. <laughs> um, I got six on New Orleans. Uh, this game could go either way. I don't like either team. I just lean New Orleans because they have a lot more names, in my opinion, on that roster. I mean, if it's the Taysom show, I believe it'll be a lot more. If it's Jameis Winston charging out there, I'm putting a lot more on I, this game. Yeah, I believe it'll be a lot more if my boy Jameis comes out. He's going to eat that W. Oh my God. <laughs> I have three on the Saints. Mookie. I've got seven on the Giants. I uh, wanted to go lower because I think both teams kind of suck. But yes, they the do. Giants have been Giants have been hot. They are on a three-win streak. They seem like they're starting to get their groove, and it wouldn't surprise me if they could beat a team like the Saints and be one game out of playoffs. Wait, did, Buka, did you take Tom? Did you take Tommy DeVito? Yep, with seven. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't hate the pick. Also, can I just throw in one thing? I don't know how much confidence I'll put on it, but the Rams are going to fucking beat our ass on Thursday Night Football. <laughs> I'm going to have to watch us get our ass beat by Stafford. Uh, is a Rams team that still can make playoffs, so probably. Oh, I think I think they're going. Yeah, I think they're going 100% also. Mm -hmm. um, well, moving on. We got Atlanta going into Carolina to play the Panthers. Um, I put 10 on Atlanta. Um, even with the quarterback shuffling they're doing, they are a run team. B. John's going to kill them. Algier is going to kill them. I I don't think Carolina is winning. They haven't looked like a winning team ever this year, even when they did win. So, <laughs> on Atlanta. Yeah, I put one on Atlanta. That's about all I got to say about this game. Uh, I put nine on Atlanta. This game honestly scares me, though, because the weather is supposed to be ass. And Desmond Ritter is the type of quarterback that I could see having turnovers in that weather. So is like Bryce Young. And, huh? <laughs> so is Bryce Young. Uh, has, has Young really had a turnover problem? Are you sure he's thrown a lot of turnovers this season? I mean, that team's ass. I don't know if it's... Right, I'm, pretty, you know. I'm pretty sure he has a lot of turnovers this season also. Think about uh, like a Trevor Lawrence-esque like, first year. You remember how bad he was his first year? Um, I mean, yeah, but that wasn't that wasn't Trevor's fault. Yeah, that but he's still is throwing turnovers. Is what I'm saying. Like, what is fault or not? It's a thing that was happening. <laughs> I mean, dude, I'll say this: if Carolina's sticking around in the fourth quarter, I'm just gonna wait for Atlanta to blow it. But I got nine on Atlanta. They should win this game. The weather's bad. Like. This should be where you hand the ball off to Algier and Bijan and win. <laughs> and win, but it's Atlanta. So if if there was a team that was gonna blow it, it would be the Falcons. But I'm putting I'm putting confidence on them. Also, Kyle Pitts has kind of reemerged. I mean, he's not gonna do anything this week, yeah, probably. They're, they're but still, Kyle Pitts did, has reemerged a little bit. So I'll say this: last week, 
And and I was told, well, everybody pops against the Bucks. Fucking Drake London went wild on my bench. <laughs> and it made me sad. But I was like, he didn't do that yeah, the first time off. against he didn't do that the first time against Tampa. I mean I I played Garrett Wilson who only had ten less points, but like he went wild and I'm just like, man, if they got a quarterback that could throw like that every week, they'd be great. I, I think I think Ritter could still be a nice project. I just don't think Atlanta's gonna end up sticking with him. No, I don't think Atlanta's sticking with him either. I think Atlanta but wants to find I, the I, guy. I do have nine on the Falcons. I hope they don't make me regret that like the last time I put good confidence behind them. How much did you put, Mookie? And we're talking about Atlanta, right? Yeah. The division winner is the Atlanta Falcons. Oh, of course, of course. The division li- winners. I put 11 on them. I put 11 on the Falcons. Panthers asked. There's a reason they're one and whatever. <laughs> That's all. Who did they get that one? Oh, they got that one win against the Texans, actually. <laughs> well, moving on. We got another one I feel like will be rather one side. We got the Rams going against Washington at L.A. I, I got up. eleven on the Rams. Yeah, I I got I got yeah. twelve on the Rams. I mean, that, I mean rebuilding, that so. team is entirely different with Kyron Williams there, and oh god, yeah, they got a stack they the they pull up a fight against them. Baltimore. I don't yeah like they're gonna bully bad teams. And like, I'm just saying, Ravens bully NFC teams. They did not bully the Rams last week. They did not, and that is did weird you, did because you know? they're 16 or 17 and 1. But if you give Stafford a run game, he will torch you. Especially if it's somebody like fucking Kyron, dude. I also it's feel power. like I also <clears throat> feel like it's a lot of uh, McVay. I think McVay's having one of his better coaching seasons, even though the record don't necessarily show that. I mean, when when they keep Stafford upright and that team's healthy, they can put up points. Yeah, and I didn't know this. Injuries. It was the first time all year that Baltimore wouldn't do a fourth quarter losing a game. Their other losses were the games that they blew in the fourth quarter. This was the first time going into the fourth quarter all season they didn't have the lead. Mm-hmm. I like honestly, the Rams are a sneaky ass team that I can see making it for far in playoffs. First Browns versus Ravens, thirty three, thirty one. Yes, but but against that, second was twenty eight to three. I mean, yeah, the uh, but yeah, it's just a crazy stat that they haven't been losing going into the fourth quarter. The the, the two of those three losses, they blew double digit leads in the fourth quarter, but. You know, I, I think the Rams are a very sneaky good team. I got 13 on them. Uh, Sam Howell's a dog, but he's... He's a he's puppy not... this week. Yeah, well, <laughs> I, I, think, I think that, you know, Sam Howell could come out and put up 28 and it won't be enough. I could see the Rams putting up 40 this week. To be week. more exact, he's going to be I, Aaron Donald's puppy. I'm excited for Kyron this I week, actually, baby. I, I actually put the Rams as my most points this week. so I'm excited for Kyron this week as a fantasy owner, man. Um, I want to keep it the... short, short and sweet. I got 12 on the Rams. No, I should hate Kyron Williams because that motherfucker put up like 40 points on us. Got injured. And the week he comes back was against us again just to drop 30 more points on us. But I fucking love that, man. <laughs> I was like, god damn, they really said, let's fuck Arizona. <laughs> that shit was funny. But, uh, yeah. Moving on. Another one that should be one-sided. We got San Fran going to Arizona to play the Cardinals, and I mean we're cooked, guys. I we're cooked. Are all teams injured? I even even with our team not being injured, we're cooked because San Fran is just miles ahead of us. I do think McBride will have a a big game because he's the only goddamn receiver out there. Right, he's about to have like eighty fantasy points, probably about four or five touchdowns. 
350 receiving yards. Uh, there has been a lot of good things to see from Arizona this year, I will say. That look positive going forward. I, I'm interested to see what Gannon does this offseason, but the season's cooked. I put 30 on San Fran. I mean, I feel like, I feel like, you know, I feel like Arizona's sticking with Kyler, and that was the yeah, important thing. To that get was the season. very important thing for me. Um, <laughs> yeah, dude, because I feel like uh, I have to see. I put 15 on San Fran. I mean, San Fran looks like the best team in the league right now. I, I would like to see Kyler keep this competitive. I mean, how how disrespectful is the spread? The spread's 13 and a half. I'm going to be real coon. I don't think Arizona covers We don't that. cover that. But uh, we have one person on the receiving team that's actually going to. Who do y'all have? Y'all have the Bears next week. I think y'all could rebound and win that game. Then y'all play oh. Philly. I don't think y'all are beating Philly, but I could see y'all beating Seattle at the end of the year. No matter what, but, I'm just happy Murray's back and playing good football. But yeah, fifteen on fifteen on the Niners. I, yeah, I'm excited. To, I'm excited to see what Arizona does in the off season. I would. I'd like to see Arizona get a cheeky TD or two and keep this close. So that'd make me really happy. I would like to see so, Arizona draft the uh, what the wide receiver. Wide receiver. Yes, I, that's what I want to see. My, that. The one time I want Arizona to draft a wide receiver. I wanted to be this guy. So, <laughs> soon. Yep. I really think Tyler should be taking some pointers from Tyreek. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, Tyreek streams every night, and he's about <laughs> to break records. So what's Tyler's excuse? He was injured for one year. <laughs> for one year, bitch. He was injured for two years. <laughs> he's got injured every year of his career, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> also, they play a completely different position. I mean, you're right. Tyreek's got to go out there and jump and have a ball thrown to him from Tua, where at least Kyler can try to, you know, run around, duck under legs. Kyler you know. has to run around. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Hey, you drafted one offensive lineman. Stop hey, it. Hey, hey, he's been good, though. <laughs> he, has, he has been good. He has been, he has been a really good foundation for that O-line, and you can see the difference a little bit. It's starting to come together. <laughs> Just when, whoever he's blocking, don't get there, but the rest do. We have another guy who we have on our line who's decent. I'm not going to say he's good, but he's decent. So <laughs> well, that's nice. He gets the job done. Yeah. I'm a Lions fan. I, I can't remember his name. He's a lineman all year. But, oh. There's a lot of positive, positive vibes coming out of Arizona going into next year, which is nice. I got fifth. Damn, twenty-one nothing Detroit now. Yeah, fifteen. Um, I was gonna say something, but I don't want to jinx it. It's the second half now. You said fifteen on San Fran, Mookie. I did. I did, and I said Denver's like about to score too. Right. We'll move on. Ah, we got, this will probably be a fun one to watch. We got Buffalo at home going against Dallas. Mookie, yes. take it away. Um, I've got way too many points on this. Um, I guess I'm going to be a homer, which you know I, I planned on Dallas winning because we're playing for the one seed. Um, I think Buffalo got done beating KC. I think they needed to win against KC. I think they needed to win one of the two of the last few weeks that they had. Okay, that made no sense. The big games between Dallas and KC, because I think their other three are for sure winnable. I think if they want to make playoffs, they needed to win one, and if they really want to make playoffs, then winning both, you know, they need to win out, in my opinion. Well, I think they could take one more loss, and I think that loss would be to Dallas, because Dallas is playing for the one seed, and... It's very attainable. I just hope Dallas doesn't shit the bed. I've got 13 on the Cowboys. Um, not that the Bills are, you know, terrible or anything. It's just... I think Dak's playing lights out. Uh, the offense is seeming to click a lot better than it has been in previous years. And if the defense can keep it up what they've been doing throughout the year... Minus a few bad games, and I think that Dallas should. Yeah. I don't, don't want to. 
this game, but they should win. The, uh, one of the things that concerns me is that it is a an away game for Dallas, and it's not a home game. <clears throat> thing that does scare me because we just play way better at home. But well, unfortunately, I put fifteen on Dallas. Dak has quite literally been the number one candidate for MVP the last three or four weeks. Parsons, he's a shark. And about five, six weeks ago, he smelled blood. And he has been killing motherfuckers the last six weeks. It ain't going to stop here. We all know Josh Allen loves to turn the ball over. And when you have a quarterback playing at such a high level as Dak is, that's something you cannot do. It doesn't matter if you put up more touchdowns. Like, you give the ball to him, he's putting up a touchdown, you're going to do it again. And, I mean, now all of a sudden, his first quarter, you're down 28 nothing. And that defense, they're not slouches. So they're missing that number one corner, and they're still shutting people down. They also moved Gilmore over to the number one last week and had Bland take the two. Yes. And it's worked out. And it's worked so, out great. <laughs> it worked out really great. Gilmore is still that guy, and he has a lot of knowledge. So... I put seven on Dallas. Uh, yeah, y'all already know I've been down on Buffalo. I give them credit. They went out and got a win against KC, but they're still seven and six. You are what your record says you are. I don't know how they're two and a half point favorites. Their defense is so beat up. I I think Dak's going to come out and essentially end their season, and Dallas is going to do what they have. Now, it is on the road, and Dallas hadn't been the best away team, but... Buffalo's not built. You feel like that's their Buffalo. They'd be built to play in cold weather outside, but they're really not. They've built a team that's better suited for playing in a dome. I mean, I'm not double digits on it because there is every chance that Josh Allen has one of them special games. I think that's what it's going to take for Buffalo to beat Dallas. Because, like I said, that defense is so beat up. I think Dallas is going to pick them apart. And I feel like I've been here in the last month. Well, the Bills need this. The Bills need this. And it's. Uh, maybe they get it, maybe they don't. Been a rough season for Buffalo, though, and I think this is where Dallas kind of puts them out of their misery. So I got I got seven on the Cowboys, and, you know, mostly it's, I think if Buffalo's winning this, Allen has to have a special game, and I don't think that defense is going to let him have a special game. I think we're going to see a two TD, two interception, Josh Allen type of day. Wee, wee, wee. <laughs> Boys, I put seven on the bill. Um, Dallas is away. That's a big help. They, for some reason, get like a 99 overall boost when they're at home. Um, it's going to be cold weather, so who knows how the game's going to go. Like, usually when there's cold weather, everybody plays like a fucking moron. So, <laughs> I can see it go either way even more. Plus... It would be the Dallas thing to do to let the first seed slip away on a stupid loss you shouldn't take. I'm just saying. So I'll take 7 on Buffalo. I'll take the shot with them while they're at home. I'll come off a huge win against KC. I think they could probably ride that momentum until winning this week. I'm just waiting until Monday if Buffalo loses and they're at 7-7, seven and 10th seven, and 11th, in the in the conference, and I have to hear. Well, the Bills are still theoretically alive. They got the Chargers, the Patriots, and the Dolphins. That is actually a really nice schedule. <laughs> and while well, you say that, but the Patriots—that's one of the Patriots' two wins is against Buffalo. Yeah, no, I met the other two. <laughs> <laughs> they did beat the Dolphins the first time they played them, but I just still, I just still don't buy the Bills, man. I'm just at some point, it's like. You just have to face facts that they're they're. If they beat Dallas, I will give them credit and think maybe they've turned the ship around. But I just at seven and seven, I I don't want to hear it if that's where we end up with this team. Too bad you gotta hear it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I can see it go either way. I so I just went with the Bills. Uh, moving on, we got Baltimore going into Jacksonville to play the Jaguars. I mean, sound the trumpets. I got five on the Prince, baby. Jacksonville, Duval at home. Uh, 
yeah, I'm, I'm going to hope that Trevor's back, you know? I mean, he played last week. I don't think he should have played. Yeah, I didn't think he was playing. The interception. Yeah. I went high against and... him because I didn't think Here... he was playing. Here's the thing. They almost came back and won that game, too. And uh, But, yeah, I just I think that Baltimore's going into Jacksonville. This is one of the tougher games on their schedule. You know, I, I think that they're going to be ready to play, you know, ETN, Ridley, the boys. I think they're going to put, I think this is going to be a very, that's why I only got five on it. I think it's going to be a very close game, but I feel like after a rough two weeks, Jacksonville's kind of desperate and really needs this one. So I've got five on Jacksonville to put a little bit of a stutter in the Raven step, as they would say. Um, I respect it. I got eight on Baltimore. I'm just going to ride and who is arguably the best AFC team right now um, in Baltimore. I don't really see a reason to switch off of them, especially when they have been winning and winning and winning. But this should be a good one. Probably going to be close. Uh, I wanted to go lower, but 8 is the top point. So. I will say this, Baltimore still plays Jacksonville and Miami, so still a lot of a lot of football left to be decided for that one seed. Mm-hmm. That's why I said arguably. <laughs> um, I put 14 on the Ravens. Um, I think Jacksonville's kind of beat up, and yeah. I put I just, on the Ravens. I just feel like the point. Ravens. Not not the Ravens, but I feel like the uh, Jags just haven't fully clicking on offense yet, even with the team healthy. So I think Baltimore is more of a complete team, and they've been playing lights out. I think this is a career year for Lamar Jackson. I might be wrong on that one, but that's just what I think it is. And yeah, that's why I picked the Ravens. Were you saying yeah? How much? You said eight. Could be wrong. Yeah, I have eight on Baltimore. All right, final game. And I feel like this isn't going to be a uh, very uh, competitive. And who we pick? I put nine. Oh, it's Philly going into Seattle. Play the Seahawks. Um, who might start Drew Lock? I don't know. I put nine on Philly. If it's Drew Lock, if it's Geno, it don't really Gino's matter. Possible. Also. Jalen missed with just an illness. He'll be perfectly fine Monday. And even if Jalen wasn't there, I've seen Mariota win games with Atlanta. He can definitely do it with Philly. All right, he's going to definitely do it with this team. I if I, I, if, if Mariota was playing, I would I would take Seattle if Geno started. I would still go with uh, Philly. But I got, I, I've got 14 on Philly. Here's the thing. People are like, well, Philly's on this... Philly lost to San Fran and Dallas. 90% of the NFL right now would lose to San Fran and Dallas. Yeah, I don't they had buy the, into that they had, the, they had the gauntlet, you know? They haven't dropped... Well, okay, they dropped a game to the Jets. Aside from that, they really haven't had, like, an F game all year, you know? And the Jets because, beat the Chiefs uh, also. <laughs> well, it's like, it's like, on top of... Before playing San Fran and Dallas, they played... They played... Buffalo, they played Kansas City, you know, like, now I, part of me does think that Seattle can keep this competitive because Philly's secondary is ass. But at the end of the day, we've seen Philly arguably have the best D-line, the best O-line, and can kind of control games. Uh, and if Locke is playing, and- Locke under pressure is not good. He's going to be under pressure. Well, you know, and, and with... And if it's Geno, we've seen their best game at Dallas, and I feel like Philly can hang up enough points to stick with them, too. And it's the Monday nighter, so Philly kind of gets a chance to to breathe after this onslaught they've took. Um, I got the final 31-28 Philly. Oh, I didn't do that. <laughs> yeah. And then the Jacksonville game, I had 24-17 Jags. Let's do 77-10. to 10. Philly in Seattle. And I'll do 21 to 17 with Baltimore and Jacksonville. 31 27 Eagles and, and wait, wait, 30 all, 17 Ravens. One point off from having the same score. Yeah, I'll be real. Seattle has some, Seattle has some dogs, man. Like Jackson Smith really and Jigma, 
DK. Bobo Tyler. is a monster. Get huh? Bobo in the starting lineup. Yeah, Bobo's in Get him like... in there. You will see such a significant boost in your fucking performance. Dude, I'll be real. I could see them moving off a receiver next year. I think they're moving off Lockett next year. I was going to say, it would probably be Lockett because DK's still young and your other guys are new drafted. Mm. But I mean... And, and you know, you have Charbonnet who looks like he's got some dog in I him. I thought they were going to move off of DK. Uh, After this year, but he started to come back to life, so I didn't, I don't think you know you got him. Kenny Walker. Well, that that Dallas game reminded people of exactly who DK Metcalf was. Exactly, so I don't think they move off of him. And like I said, I mentioned it earlier, but most and least, I got Rams and Pats. I have not selected, not selected. Who, um, would, you, who would? Who do you think's gonna put up the most? I have... Um. Well. It would originally have been San Fran. That's who I was going to put, but I had the Lions in Arizona, and I'm keeping Arizona where it's at, but I would have put San Fran there at the most. It originally probably would have been like Miami. Miami so, or, uh, or San Fran. Did I remember I was going to put San Fran there, and I said, nah, let's get spicy. Let's put the Rams there, because I could see them drop 40 on Washington. And the Leafs. Would have been, or yeah, it probably would have been New England. <laughs> so, it was it was between New England and Carolina, but uh, Houston could have been there too with their backup. I put not on the Eagles. Um, I seen something that uh kind of shocked me. Apparently, the Eagles haven't beaten the Seahawks in fifteen years. Uh, just throwing it out there. So I hope it is conti- you know continues for his 16th year okay, that'd be you. pretty i don't feel like they play each other that often though it's yeah, like it okay 15 like... years but they they could only be like oh and three oh and four These fucking ram sets they throws out man Woo! let's go another sam laporta td Woo! okay but that but that's yeah the gibbs just had a big rush and then laporta gibbs needs the fuck Damn off my... hands off the ball Damn, you know i kind of regret riding yeah, I mean, I want, as I'm recording this, this the Lions game is over, pretty much, unless a miracle wait, 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 happens. Wait, 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 Coon, this, this is... Well, no, you played Browning, didn't you? Yes, sir. So this don't apply to... The NFL made a stat correction for Detroit Lions quarterback Jared Goff on Wednesday night. After the Give correction, he has been charged fumble. with an additional fumble. <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh, thank God I didn't yeah. play him. Yeah. <laughs> so... My score is Eagles 24, Seahawks 13. I got nine on the Eagles. I really want the Seahawks to win because fuck Philly. I mean, realistically, Philly should win this. I just hope that they do lose. Um, I wanted to go lower in case the Seahawks did try to actually want to play. Um, but I ended up going with nine. And since everyone's going with Philly, I said fuck it, nine on the Eagles. I'm not going to put nine on the Seahawks, especially if I'm the only one. <laughs> and, hey, well, that just means you re- 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 you get all the benefit there if you win. Yeah, but if I lose, I'm out nine points. It's almost double digits. I risk my reward. No, I will say this, Mook. Exactly. I know you hate Philly, but I I feel like as much shit as you've talked on Seattle, it's kind of blasphemous yeah. for you to take them. <laughs> hey, Seattle's dog shit half the time, especially against uh, Philly. But for no reason, they, like, balled out against Dallas. And, you know, if I'm able to see that that Seahawks every week, oh, then I'd be like, Seahawks are an actual contender. But that's not the Seahawks I see week to week. I see shit. And more shit. And that's why you're picking them. No, 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 I'm picking the Eagles. Oh, okay. Well, like, I just Asians. want them to... Oh, go ahead. I was going to say, Asia's yeah, playing Monty. My Does score Monty for the... Or, my score. My score for the Ravens and Jags was 35-20. Ravens, and my most is Kansas City because they're pissed. And my least is the Saints because I don't think it's going to be high scoring. <laughs> well, you know, especially if uh, Olave's out, definitely would not blame you there. 
All righty, but I said my piece. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get out of here. I'm gonna go home and eat, and then I'm gonna go to work. So it's only got like forty percent to do it. Sam Laporta, four for forty six and two TDs. Jesus, he's going uh, man, God. I needed this. Yeah, Laporta's breaking a record this year. So he's but, doing a lot of things that other tight ends didn't do. No I'll see y'all later. All right, bye, man. Bye. Hey. Mook, before you leave, I have to tell you something. What? I'm so sorry that y'all are all being subjected to watching Derek Carr Thursday night. It's embarrassing, and I would not blame any of y'all that skipped the game. I think I've skipped every <laughs> game I could. It, so, is he going to be in the wheelchair then, or is the wheelchair... You know, something that comes after the game, or like during the game. Well, you see, they've actually modified it to have, okay. uh, it, it's like a wheelchair, right? But it's also like a hospital bed that rolls now. Yeah. And with like a, with a back to it, so he, he can comfortably roll around in this bed. So he's laying against the back seat, looking up, and throwing the football, not looking where he's throwing now. Yeah. No, you you guys remember the Vic experience? Uh, I mean, they're just gonna have those little clamps. It's gonna be green screen, so you can't see it, and it's just gonna move car around, and he's just gonna move his arm <laughs> until his, his arm breaks, and then they're just gonna have they're gonna, move they're gonna tie him <laughs> up and move him like a puppet. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Does that mean that if he's, like, laying down in his, uh, bed, if he gets touched, that's instantly a sack? Like, he, he can't break it? No, it's roughing the passer. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Even for a touch? You, you should know, you should know, you can't, you can't hit the quarterback. Yeah. Especially yeah. a fragile man like Carr, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, what do you mean? How does he get ruled down, though? Like, what if he takes off of the ball? I guess he's well, going the, the end time, zone. The Saints aren't smart enough to do that. All right, but I'll let you guys go, yeah, my if, brothers. If they, if they got the wheelchair rolling, we would win every game because Carr would just rush for, like, four TDs a game. <laughs> All right. I love you guys. Have a good one, Mookie. Yeah. Love you too, dude. Dude. Happy holidays. It, <laughs> it makes me sad looking at my bench and seeing Higgins and Johnson outscored Jefferson. I don't regret playing Justin Jefferson, but it makes it it makes me especially sad because if Mister Cholave don't play, and I gotta watch Scary Terry get me like six points, looking at this twenty two and this sixteen, and I end up losing to Asian because of it, I'm gonna be very sad. Well, I think that's a good way place to call it, boys. It is a good place to call it. I'm so sorry that, you know, y'all have to watch the Saints on Thursday once again. Oh, well. I mean, As a Saints fan, I I apologize. I've had to watch a lot but, of football this year. But I make, it, I, I make it up to y'all because y'all get to watch Baltimore at San Fran on Monday night. That's exciting. That I'm is actually a fault. That's actually the two, possibly the two Bowl number matchup. one teams. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking is going to be the Super Bowl. It's actually Christmas Day, so we get games all day. Yes. Mm-hmm. We get Vegas at Kansas City and Tommy DeVito at Philadelphia, too. Tommy DeVito. Right, well. Loki, Loki, New York Giants and Philly is always a decent game. Yes. Well, boys, we'll see you guys next time, and Merry Christmas. Merry yes. Christmas. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye.